baby bedroom. <laughs> yes, I love this. This is so cute. Bye bye. Hello. She's super ready. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. This is a very sudden start for the vlog. We are house hunting, you guys, just suddenly. Um, so we knew that we are going to look at houses, but today we were just actually motorcycling around and we just decided why not inquire at a random subdivision. And I will tell you more about it. It was not even supposed to be a house hunting vlog, but since it's our first step, I wanted to document it. So we will see what we see. Yeah, two bedrooms. Possible future bedroom. <laughs> you're just not allowed to pass requirement because you're not a citizen. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> then this is just in the neighborhood. This is like a one bedroom unit. It's almost the same, just like a lot smaller. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's really like what I saw in picture. This is like one bedroom, um, which is really just the bed fits and then like some kind of wardrobe fits and then this is the entrance area and then it's just like a one one living room space a little kitchen and dining area also have a back door and then the same um toilet this is just the first first step out of many that we are checking out Just like that, you guys, now we are in another subdivision. This suddenly turned into like a proper house hunting day. It's so far from the gate, look. Yes. We entered the gate of the subdivision and now we are riding. Like it's just an open highway looking place. So this is the other subdivision. This is a nicer one. Like I said, it's just our first day looking at all just looking at all like options possible and also to show you guys like what's available yeah. and it's so close to the swimming pool yeah this is a perfect <laughs> unit you can have your own swimming pool you just come out of the house and then the swimming pool is just there this is the unit that is actually available so pretty though this is how they come so when you buy a house like this it's like it's like this so it's not completely finished um the wall is painted but you still need to tile it and you still need to finish the roof <laughs> shout out for agent nami hello hello guys <laughs> security guard nami <laughs> first time first time i ever ride these little carts <laughs> Try, yeah it's like a fun, like a very fancy tricycle <laughs> <laughs> That's my vlog. Blacko. I'll live stream ka hapon. Okay, you guys, it's the next day now. We have one more subdivision to check out. So, yesterday it was really like a very sudden and unexpected house hunt so i just wanted to give you a very quick explanation so basically the place where we live now we will have to move out until the end of this year both because we don't really want to spend another rainy season there because the area has been flooding a lot long story short we are going to be moving this year later this year but we started to consider like what other options we have other than just paying for a rent so we are just looking at like temporary homes that we could move into and also make it like an investment so this is like the story um, behind why we just suddenly ended up looking at subdivisions so we will check out one more place today and then we have a lot of other things to do today so that's it yeah. So this is very similar to what we were looking at yesterday except this has like a three bedroom upstairs one bedroom two bedroom baby bedroom <laughs> and then the thing with all these houses in the Philippines that are like two story buildings these stairs you guys are so scary like so steep and there's no like toilet anywhere upstairs so what night if you have to go to the toilet then you have to try not to fall while walking down sleepily and then here's like living room and kitchen area kitchen 
dining area and the bathroom. In the Philippines, bathrooms are all like this actually, like the toilet and the shower is usually in like one open space and it's all tiled, so it's okay to get wet. Very different than how it is in Hungary. Of course you can like separate it, like you can put a wall here for the shower and like a door if you don't want the whole place to get wet, but yeah, in general in the Philippines it's very common for bathrooms to just be fully tiled, so even if you splash water everywhere, it's fine. These are the small um, like row houses available, sorry because it's so sunny. Yeah, so this is actually how they come, like all of these houses that it's like unfinished. Like ceiling, flooring, walls. That's bigger than that. Yeah. Okay, this is the like the model version of the same house we were looking at. It's also a very small unit like what we were looking at yesterday, but it feels way bigger. Toilet yeah. is bigger. Yes, it's bigger. Yeah. It's bigger than the other one. Oh yes, it's a very big bathroom. We put a mini bathroom. <laughs> this is another one, you guys. I love this. This is so cute. Wait, I show you the whole place. So this is a like a little upstairs area, but it's the cutest thing ever. It's also a small house, but it doesn't feel small so much at all. Like little living room place, kitchen, and then the best part. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute though, it's like a little like rooftop corner, but it's bigger than I thought, like you can actually stand up without getting your head hit, so that's perfect. Okay you guys, we are done for now, we, we are still need to do a lot of house hunting, but we have a lot of other things to do for today, but Mantetto, really just share these first steps with you. Lunch break, guys. For some reason, we have three rice <laughs> with, with our two ulam. We got some like tokwa, pussy, and gulai. And then after we ate this, we are meeting up with someone because if you guys are following us also on Instagram and Facebook, then you could see that we rescued a kitten lately. We actually rescued it twice, once from the side of the road and second time it almost got killed by dogs. But we managed to rescue that little one two times and we found her someone that will adopt her and we are meeting that person today, later today. We will just eat this dish and then hurry, hurry to meet the new owner of the kitten. We met you guys! The new mama of the kitten! <laughs> Definitely a success story after everything this little kitten's been through. Now she's with her new mama, so <sighs> that's like a huge relief. <laughs> that was a happy ending, guys. It's always really difficult to get our rescues adopted because you can it's difficult to make sure that they are really going to a good place so we always like stalk the person's facebook profile ask a bunch of questions but i think this kitten really won like the lottery because shout out to ate who adopted her because she's just the sweetest look at this guy she already prepared a little bedroom for the kitten that's a super happy ending now I'm waiting for a call from Fanny because I can't believe it, but she's coming to the Philippines in a few days. Hello. There you guys. As soon as Fanny called, I'm seeing her suitcase. She's very ready. 
Dad. Hello. She's super ready. Excited? Are you excited? I'm. Uh, uh, <laughs> I am very. Oh, oh. <laughs> she is coming like literally in a few days. So this is her day when she's like finishing up the suitcase organizing. <sighs> oh, George. Oh, this is my suitcase. Hi, not make Mira Indus. So four four days only until she's boarding the plane. I can't imagine like. Úgy érzem, hogy csak most kezdtünk el tervezgetni, hogy ó, oh, lehet, hogy jössz a Fülöp szigetekre, és most meg négy nap. Igen, a I had the same feelings when my parents were coming, like, the, like, I don't know, like, I can't imagine, couldn't imagine my parents here in the Philippines, like, since my parents been here, it feels like more natural now, but I have the same feeling with funny now, like, I just, like she's literally coming in a few days and I can't imagine still her being here like <laughs> This is very positive. Ha ha nézed, akkor annyira nincs is messze. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I made a poll on community polls like when Fanny arrives early morning, 7 a.m., maybe it will be 8 a.m. when she gets out of the airport. Then we will have a whole day in Manila. She will be very tired because she will be traveling a lot. And we will be very tired too with Jonathan because we will wake up at like 2 or 3 a.m. at the morning to pick her up in Manila. But we won't waste the time and we will spend the whole day in Manila. And you guys were already voting where to bring her. She will have the final decision, but... Very exciting, already planning. BGC is winning for now. <laughs> Szerintem ez talán az utolsó hívásunk, ami előtt jössz. <laughs> Last video call before we meet in person. See ya, see ya. Yeah. I think probably after this vlog, the next vlog we are going to be uploading on this channel is going to be picking her up at the airport. So you guys can leave recommendations, what places you want us to visit, where should we spend her first day in Manila, what food you want her to try, what places you want her to see, just everything. If you have any requests or things that you think would be fun to see with her on the channel, then leave it in the comments. I think this is also going to be the end of this vlog. So. Thank you so much guys for watching and we will see you next time in the next vlog with her. Bye! <laughs>